ども。Alright guys, salute to Oops here. We are in, uh, I'm in New York, alright, we're visiting and uh, as you can see by the signage there, there is a Sunday card show going on here in, <laughs> in Long Island and uh, we're going to see what New York has to offer with card shows, so let's go. Alright guys, my first attempt at a voiceover on the channel, so a bunch of sealed wax at this card show, pretty typical of any card show. Uh, there you have the Prism Cello Box from Zion Draft Class for $13.50. did have this year's Draft Class uh, for only $400, which is pretty cheap, um, and I actually contemplating getting that. Right here you have the Dollar Store uh, Prism Basketball for this year, $18 price tag on those. I really wish I could find those around here, but... I've never been able to find any basketball at a dollar store, at least in the Midwest, uh, or in Wisconsin, I should say. NFL National Treasures, $3,600 for that. It's a little bit out of our price range, but maybe one day if my crypto hits big, we'll be able to see how the other side lives on this channel. Overall, a bunch of sealed wax there, a bunch to choose from. Uh, what really caught my eye, aside from the amount of slabs that this guy had at his table... Uh, which was pretty impressive, was this Jason Tatum RPA. Uh, I believe it was numbered also, and directly to the right of that was actually a Trevor Lawrence uh, one of one redemption, which is also pretty sweet, too. So, loot to Hoops, guys. We are in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, we're here for the weekend visiting. And we're gonna go inside and see some card shops uh, while we're here. Uh, right now we're at the Hobby Box over here in Brooklyn. I think the address is right there, perfect. And uh, we had went here actually uh, a couple months ago, uh, the day after their grand opening. And I didn't get any footage because they were kind of moving stuff in and stuff like that. Um, but today, uh, we're going to check it out and see what the shop's looking like, and I've already messaged them, uh, but this is definitely one of my favorite places to go to here for sure. It was great last time we were here, so let's go ahead and check it out and see what we can find.
got one more AD coming up, and I got some Raiders rookies, some John Ross clearly. Alright guys, that concludes our little tour of the, the hobby box here in Brooklyn. And uh, we left with some nice little rookie cards. Nice little deal going on. Boom. See you guys in the next one. Salute to Hoops guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video. Another day in the crazy world of sports cards. If it's your first time to this channel... Uh, stick around. It's a good time here at the Salute Hoops channel. Welcome to the show. If you're uh, a subscriber already, welcome back, guys. I always appreciate you watching the videos. Thank you for the support. I hope everyone enjoyed the first portion of this video, a little montage of the trip to New York this past weekend, the card show, uh, went to the, the Hobby Box over there in Brooklyn, Love that place. If you guys are ever in the area if you or if you live in the area and you haven't gone, I suggest going over there. The guys that run the place are amazing. Uh, amazing customer service. Super welcoming. And they they let me um, pretty much have free reign when it came to getting footage while I was in there. Uh, they had no issues with me getting footage whatsoever. Amazing time. They showed me around the place. Uh, told me some stories about their experience at the national so it was definitely a good time definitely a great time so just gonna get into uh, what I bought uh, at that card show and then what I got at uh, when I was at the hobby box and that'll be that hopefully it's not too long of a video for you guys so uh, at that card show there really wasn't a lot of basketball uh, you guys know that I kind of go for the bargain bin stuff like that uh, the hidden gems and there really wasn't a lot of that around. I did find a table uh, that had uh, some lower end guys or some prospect guys uh, like Diallo and uh, Gafford and um, Grayson Allen. Uh, and I have a story about the Grayson Allen, uh, but he didn't have any prices on anything. So uh, when I asked him, I had brought out four Grayson Allen, just Prism rookies and I asked him, hey, how much, oh, you know, what do you want for these? So out comes the phone, obviously. And he said, uh, you know, seven, seven bucks. I said, okay, well, seven bucks for, for all of them? I mean, that sounded like a, a decent deal to me, but he wanted seven bucks each for the Grayson Allen Prisms, uh, which seemed a bit high for me. I checked comps myself, and they were like $3, between three and four bucks. Uh, but he really wasn't budging on anything. And so uh, he was pretty much basing... Uh, his prices on like what the, the players could be uh, or their potential. And I, you know, I, I guess I kind of understand that, but then again, like, you know, just because you think a player is going to be good, he, he's really, I mean, that's not really the, <laughs> how it works. Uh, so you just can't put a price on what you think a player is going to be worth in the future. So uh, needless to say, I didn't buy anything from that guy's table because the prices were just a little too outrageous for me. I mean, most of them were, were literally dollar to $2 cards. Uh, I think he wanted 10 bucks for a Diallo Prism base. And so we were just going to be way too far apart on stuff. So I did find some stuff, though, guys. So uh, there was a table there. I picked up some of these uh, Matisse Thibault's. I think all of these cost me... Uh, maybe two two bucks, which I wasn't two or three bucks each, which I wasn't too concerned about. Just some prism bases for those for Matisse. Uh, this Peyton Pritchard Silver Prism Emergent. I really think this kid's gonna be pretty good. I think he's gonna be end up being the Celtics starter this year. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but he's been kind of showing out during the summer, so uh, I definitely like the potential that the kid has for sure. And Silver Prism Emergent. I think I got this for two bucks also. Then I got this Kobe White Select rookie. Really hoping the Bulls find space for Kobe White on their roster. Uh, things have changed since last year, and now that we got DeRozan and Lonzo and a few other guys. So I'm really kind of wondering what the Bulls are going to do with Kobe, but I still got faith in the kid for sure. Always got faith in my Chicago Bulls, even, <laughs> even when uh, we were terrible. So I also did find... Another table that had some like obscure cards, uh, which I thought were pretty cool. I got this uh, quad quad patch card, uh, number two. It's a luxury box, number to one ninety nine. And we got Andre Miller, Sam Cassell, Jerry Stackhouse, and Mike Miller. So no like superstars or anything, but I was a huge Jerry Stackhouse fan when I was a kid. And it's five bucks. 
I I got this whole I think I got this whole lot for I think fifteen dollars. So cut cut the deal with the guy. I wasn't I wasn't too mad about that. I wanted to spend some money while I was there, and fifteen bucks really wasn't too much out of the pocket. So definitely a cool card to add to the PC. A couple of random cards. I got this. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this guy. Um, I'm thirty years old, so uh, I remember this guy when I was a kid, Pavel Podkolzin. He was like a seven foot five guy from Russia. And I really thought that he was going to be, like, at least something in the NBA, but he only lasted, like, two years. I remember seeing him in, like, NBA Live 2004 and five, and I would always, like, turn him into a beast for some reason. But um, I think he only lasted, I believe it was two, year, two years in the NBA and kind of kind of faded out. But I thought that was a cool card to, to have for whatever reason. Uh, another addition to the Obscura autograph lot. Uh, next we have Tabo Cephalosha. Uh, one guy that I really liked on the Chicago Bulls back in the day, drafted in the 2006 NBA draft, I believe, uh, and made a, actually a decent career out of it, out of his, out of himself. So uh, he was on the Bulls for like I think four years. Ended up playing with the Knicks, uh, the Thunder, and stuff like that. So this, got this silver prism, uh, tops finest auto from him, just to add to my Chicago Bulls uh, PC. Next up, we have the man, the myth, the legend himself. Tyrus Thomas, don't get me started on him. Uh, I was irate when the Bulls traded for him that night on draft night uh, when we could add LaMarcus Aldridge, but I saw this in the guy's autograph box, and I just had to get it. I don't have a Tyrus Thomas auto, and just in a All right, guys, sorry for the, the cut in the video. My phone went into low power mode, and uh, now we're back in business. So we left off with the Tyrus Thomas. Uh, next up, I got this guy right here, uh, Saracena. Uh, I literally picked this guy up uh, because, uh, and this go correlates with the Tyrus Thomas. This is the actual guy that I wanted the Bulls to pick in that draft for whatever reason. Uh, I was like 12 years old, thought I knew everything about basketball, and this was the guy, the hidden gem that I thought uh, the Bulls should pick up that year. Thank God. Uh, my prospecting and scouting has gotten a little bit better uh, since then. I think he was only in the league for three years, and that was a wrap for him. So he wasn't very good, but I had to pick this card, this card up, the silver uh, prism, uh, tops finest of him with the auto, uh, literally just for that reason alone. So there's really no other reason besides the fact that uh, I thought that he was the man in that draft that the Bulls should should pick up. So thank God they didn't, but we got Tyrus Thomas, and that probably wasn't much better, to be honest with you. So next up, we got this solid Brandon Roy dual patch here. Um, nothing cool about the patch, really. It's just two red napkins, uh, but I was a huge fan of Brandon Roy back in the day. It's also numbered to, uh, 25 out of 50. And, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just interesting to imagine, like, what this card would – would actually, you know, like the amount it would cost if Brandon Roy, Brandon Roy's career went the way it was supposed to. But we all know it was derailed by that knee injury and stuff like that. So, but a cool card to add to the PC none, nonetheless, for sure. And then last but not least, I was in New York and actually found this, this Sebastian Telfair autograph. Uh, it's like an on-ball auto here, signature series, pretty cool. Another guy that I was a huge fan of when I was a kid, thought that he was going to be great in the NBA, but uh, he just wasn't ready to make that step out of high school. But if you saw his uh, documentary that came out, uh, he had a lot of reasons why he made the jump to the NBA. Unfortunately, I believe he's in jail now for some gun charges that he caught, uh, but a cool card to have nonetheless because, like I said, I was really a fan of this guy back in the day. Uh, still am, still am. All right, next, guys, I'll just show you briefly what I picked up at the Hobby Box. Uh, you guys saw a lot of them in the actual video when I was going through the cards, so I'll make this short and brief. So we got just the uh, Patrick Williams Emergent, some Peyton Pritchard, three uh, Prism uh, bases here for you. Little Devin Vassell. I think one's a variation, obviously. I don't know which one uh, is, but... Obviously, one of those has got to be variation. Precious Ochua, I think he's going to do solid on the Raptors this year. Jo little Josh Green, you guys know I'm a fan of his for sure. A few Denny's. 
And then we got some Pogachevsky bases as well. And then I was able to pick up this Sean Kemp Signature Series Auto Prism. I have no autos of the Rain Man, so I had to pick this up. They offered me a solid deal on it, which is pretty cool of them. So definitely could not pass up the Rain Man, Sean Kemp himself. Also in the video, guys, you saw that uh, they, when I was at the Hobby Box, they were, I did like a brief little moment there where they were on like the WhatNot app. I had no idea what that was. I had heard about it uh, just randomly, I think on like Instagram or something like that. But uh, I hopped on there and it is a pretty cool app. So I think I'm going to do like a, a review on that app because I don't think a lot of people know about it yet. I believe it's still in like the beta stages. Uh, since I signed up and uh, there's not really a lot of people on it and I tried selling on it, but you have to like apply and everything. So I, I'm going to do a, like a review on that because I think that that's a cool thing to throw out to you guys in the hobby. If you guys don't know about it yet. And uh, I actually bought some cards on there, like my first 10 minutes on the app too. So when those come in, I'll show you guys those cards as well. Until then, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope it wasn't too long. Thank you for all the support. I think I've gained a hundred subscribe over 100 subscribers in the last month on this channel, so we're growing uh, rapidly at this point, and I can't wait to see where we're at at the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.